Coming up early Friday morning, we have a sight to behold. The longest partial lunar eclipse since February 18th, 1440, almost 600 years ago. Here's what's happening. It starts with the relationship with the sun and the earth and moon. Now this side of the earth is dark. There are two times of the year where the moon has a chance to enter the earth's shadow. Friday is one of those days. Now with a regular full moon, the moon appears white or gray. Now as the moon enters what's called the penumbra, the partial eclipse begins. The moon turns dark. Now the moon is near what's called apogee. That's the farthest distance from the Earth on its orbit. This distance is creating a slower movement around the planet and an almost six hour partial eclipse. Now as the moon enters the umbra, this is the deepest part of the Earth's shadow. The moon turns red. The reason is red and oranges are the only colors of the spectrum that are refracted or leaking over the edges of the Earth. So if you were on the moon looking at the sun, you are actually seeing every sunrise and sunset at the same time. Now this won't be a deep red because it's not a total lunar eclipse, but it's close. 97% of the moon will enter the Earth's shadow. And guess what? You'll be able to see it. In fact, all of North America will be able to see it. This is all the colors that the lunar eclipse will be visible. But you got to wake up early or stay up late. In fact, the partial eclipse begins at 1.18 in the morning. But the time you really do want to see it is when you have the maximum eclipse. That's when you're going to see those deeper reds. But that's at 3.03 in the morning. That's the time you want to see it. The partial eclipse ends at 4.47 in the morning. If you're waking up after that, you are going to miss it. And you're going to have to wait until May of 2022 to catch the next full lunar eclipse.